Mars is losing a moon. No, God, please, no, no. Hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are talking about Mars's moons. That's right, moons, more than one. Now here's the question, how many moons does Mars have? Well, the answer is two, for now. <laughs> Mars's moons are named Phobos and Deimos. They were discovered in 1877 by Ossif Hall. So both of these moons are tidally locked. Well, what does that mean? That means the same side always faces Mars. Now, that's not too crazy because that's just like our own moon with Earth. As the moon goes around, we see the same face. Now, this out at Mars actually makes them great places for a Mars base. A pit stop before going down to Mars and landing. Why? Well, because of this tidally locked thing, they're shielded from the cosmic rays and solar radiation for two thirds of their orbit. Now that's a really nice way to protect our astronauts from some of the dangers of space. Both Phobos and Deimos are believed to be captured asteroids. Mm-hmm. Because they are about asteroid size and they are quite misshapen. These are, these are balls, Kevin. You know, they're not round balls like we think of. These are just you know, little props. When we think of round balls for the moon, we think of like our moon. Now, they're also made of stuff that's like asteroids. It's common to some of the stuff we find out there. They're made up of a mix of rich carbon with ice. Now, this is different from Earth's moon. Now, this was made from Earth material. Well, how did that happen? Well, a Mars-sized object called Theia ran into Earth, and this sent a bunch of pieces of Earth out into space that eventually joined together to form our moon. Now, let's take a closer look at each one. Now, first off, Phobos. Phobos is the Greek word for fear. <coughs> this goes with the theme of Mars being the god of war. That makes sense. Now, Phobos is the larger moon at about 23 kilometers across. But that's still really small. It's just half the distance of a marathon. I've ran that far. I could run across Phobos. It's also the closer moon. I mean, it's super close. It's only 9,400 kilometers above Mars. That's about twice the width of the United States. Now, if you compare that with how far away our moon is from Earth, you would have to go around the entire Earth almost 10 times to get that distance. And I definitely cannot run that far. So since it's super close to Mars, it actually goes around Mars three times a day. Now, the gravity. This is crazy cool to me. It is one one thousandth of that of Earth. Yeah, so I'm about 200 pounds here on Earth. On Phobos, I would weigh only three ounces. That's just three AA batteries. This is what I would weigh on Phobos. <laughs> okay, next up is Deimos. Now this is the Greek word for dread or panic. Again, it goes nicely with the god of war, Mars. Now it's smaller. It's only about half the size of Phobos and just 12.6 kilometers. And Deimos is further away from Mars at about 24,000 kilometers. But that's still just a fraction of the Earth-Moon distance that we see of 384,000 kilometers. So since it's further away, Deimos takes about 30 hours to orbit Mars, which is longer than a full day. So which moon is Mars losing? Back to Phobos. It is slowly falling towards Mars at about 1.8 meters or 6 feet. That's the height of me, actually each year. Now, our moon drifts away from Earth at about four centimeters a year, but Phobos is falling towards Mars. So one of two things will happen. One, it's going to crash into Mars in about 50 million years and create a giant crater. Or two, in about 10 to 15 million years, Mars's gravity will break it up into a bunch of rocks and turn it into a ring. Can you imagine that? Mars with a ring? Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of who flew the first plane is C, the Wright brothers. This week's question is, how many planets currently have rings? 
Is it A2, B3, C4, or D5? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.